Hello, everyone. How are my crafters today? This is our second craft of May. We're going to be talking about wind today. You should have a bag in your, you should have a plastic bag in your brown bag that has paper bag. That's a lot of bags. Paper bag in your plastic bag that's in your brown bag. Um, you should also have some of these little circles. Yours are clear. I didn't have any more clear. Some things that you're going to need from your house are some string or yarn, a paper punch if you have one, something to decorate on your bags. I'm using some permanent magic markers. You're going to need a little stick. You know, I like to upcycle things, I like to reuse things. So this is just a stick that I found in my backyard. But if you have a little popsicle stick, um, if you have a bamboo skewer, like you're cooking, you put um, shish kebab on those. You just want it really lightweight. So something really tiny. Um, and you need, if you want something for streamers, I'm using, this is cloth napkin. I'm just gonna cut some of those up. So let's start. I'm also gonna see if I can add a video to this. I'm hoping that it will work, but we'll see. I am going to switch cameras. Oh, I forgot to hook up the other camera. I guess I should do that first, huh? So you can actually see what I'm doing. So I already decorated part of my paper bag. So I have a little jump start on you. Show it to you. I just drew some uh, paisley prints on my bag. I only did one side, I didn't do the other side yet. But I will walk you through the steps of this and then we'll see if we can use the video of where I found this. It's a, a cool site called Sophie's World. All right. So let's, oh, it's not recognizing my other camera. I wonder why. Hmm. That's interesting. See if it works now. There we go. All right, now you can see what I'm doing. So I decorated my bag. I'm going to cut some streamers. So what do you have around your house that you could use as streamers? You could use some old cloth, some fabric. You could use some streamers if you have streamers, like party streamers. You could use tissue paper. I know I've given you some tissue paper. I don't know if you have any left. This is just a napkin. And I'm folding it. Let's see, do I want them in thirds? I think thirds will probably be good. The other thing you're going to need is a glue stick or some two-sided tape if you have that. So I just cut a napkin up, made some streamers. You could um, make them different lengths probably. Make some short ones and some long ones. I'm just going to stick with the three of those for right now. So there's my streamers. Well, the first thing you're going to do, or the first thing I did, I already made one. This is my second one. I took my paper bag. I kind of put my hand inside it. I have pulled in my finger so the bag is out like that. So it's not flat like this one anymore. And I'm going to put a little hole in it. And I don't, I just use a half of a um, hole. I don't make the whole hole. You could actually probably do this with a pencil. If you have a pencil, you could put it in. Here's my pencil. Put it in, poke a little hole right through the top of that. See? 
it will work the same way. Now I'm going to take a piece of string and you can start with a small one if you want until you get an idea of how your kite's going to fly. I'm going to cut now. It's not really long. It's not really short. Now what I'm going to do at the end of this is I'm going to put it in the hole that I made in my bag. Grab it with my hand that I have inside the bag and I'm going to pull it through. And I'm just going to tie my little stick to it. I'll wrap it around a couple of times. Tie it really tight. And then I'm going to pull the string Now you have these little stickers and again, yours are clear. If you want to reinforce the hole so it doesn't rip, that's what those st little circle stickers are for. So put one on the outside, one on the inside, and that will just help protect it from being ripped. I think you have, um, a, I think I gave everybody plenty so you can uh, have some extras in case your paper bag rips or in case you're doing um, more than one kite. So with the streamers, all I'm doing with the streamers is I'm going to attach them to the open end of my kite. And I am going to use some two-sided tape just because that's what I had in my drawer. So I'm just going to tape them to the end of my bag. And this one I think I'm going to make a little shorter, so I'm going to trim it have them in different lengths. Now with our crazy spring weather, who knows if it's going to be windy enough to go fly your kite or not. Right? We've talked about that crazy spring weather. It can be snowing one day and then hot and sunny. You want your shorts on the next day. Then it could be rainy. So crazy spring weather. So there's my kite. It's all done. I can take it outside and fly it. Let me know how yours flies. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you that you have in your bag is just this lined piece of paper. And I didn't give you any instructions in it. I wanted to see if you guys could figure out um, what to do with it. Remember, we're talking about wind and air. You can actually make wind with your breath, right? If you came to Messy Monday, we talked about that a little bit. We were blowing bubbles with a straw. There's a straw in your bag. Let's see if I can make this move with my breath. I did. That's wind. So with this piece of paper, all you're going to do is fold on all those lines like an accordion. So you need to fold it one way and then flip your paper over and fold it the other way. You know what I'm making now? Did you figure it out? Did you know what it was with just the lines on it? This is a fan. Did you know that? I'm just going to fold the end over. You could do it a couple of times, actually. And you can even tape it or staple it there if you wanted to. Check that out. I'm going to switch the camera. Oh, you see my hair? With just a piece of folded paper, I've created wind. So if you're hot, you could use this. Or you could see if you could move things. And there's also a straw for you to do that with, a little experimenting, right? It's pretty cool. So I folded this the long way. You can actually fold it the other way also and make a shorter fan. Experiment with it.
It's pretty cool. Oh, that feels really good, actually. All right, so let's see. I'm going to share my screen with you, and I'm going to show you. Let's see. It's not showing up my kite. Why is that? Hmm. Oh, there it goes. So this is where I found the paper bag kite instructions. It's sophiesworld.com. And if you type all that in, you'll go right to um, the wind catcher or kite section. I'm going to see if I can actually share the video with you. I'm hoping this works. Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to go fly a kite. But to do so, first thing we're going to need to do is make a kite. And to make a kite, all we need is a couple simple things. We're going to start with a brown paper bag, just your average lunch bag. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a popsicle stick, glue stick or tape, a hole punch, some yarn, some magic markers, and if you like, for a little bit of flair, some paper ribbon or some regular ribbon. That's going to give it that whoosh feel. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some magic markers and I'm going to decorate my bag. And I can decorate this any way I want. Easy. I've got a couple done that are already made here. You can see I had a lot of fun and made some hearts and swirlies. Now, once that's all done, once it's all decorated, what I'm going to do next is open my bag up. Now, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push it into the center. And that's just what we did. Peak. I'm going to fold that. And now I'm going to take my paper punch. What I'm going to do is just do half a punch right at that fold there. So that now, see, a little fold. Now, now you can make your yarn or string as long as you like. I'm just going to make mine short for the purposes of today. I'm just going to cut a little piece of string. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it to my popsicle stick right in the middle here. Now the reason I'm using a popsicle stick instead of just making a knot and putting that piece of uh, string into my bag with a knot is because this is going to give it some extra added strength so that it doesn't pull through the hole at the top of my bag. Now, I'm going to take my string, and I'm going to feed it through. Now, you're going to see it's going to start to pull up and in. I want to make sure that my string isn't going to come off, so I'm just going to take a little piece of tape before I pull it all the way in, and just tape that around to make sure that that stays secure. Oh, that's a good idea. Slide you do that? My, uh, optimal stick. Okay. There's my basic kite. I can stop right here if I want to. It really will fly beautifully without anything else on it. But to make it really pretty, I'm going to add some paper streamers. Now you can cut these to any length. I find that uh, you know, about three feet is great. And I'm going to use my glue stick here. I'm just going to take the glue stick and I'm going to rub it all over the bottom here. Take my streamer, place it on the glue stick. Streamer, place it on the glue stick, and I think I can do one more streamer here. I'm going to add a little more extra glue. And do that right there. Now, whoop, now I've got some streamers on my beautiful kite. And what's amazing is if you actually take this out into the wind and you run with it, it will actually get some really good loft and it'll go really high in the sky the longer that your string is. Running with it is the best way to make it go high. So let me show you a couple of these that we've decorated in different ways. I've got this one here that has some beautiful um, silk streamer ribbons on here and I've actually used crayons. And then over here, I've got a uh, little wild and crazy with the magic marker. 
But here's something fun that I wanted to show you. This one I actually decorated with some photographs of some friends of mine and some stickers. And you can see that even this one, without any streamers, flies really well. So I'm going to challenge you to go fly a kite. And for more high-flying ideas like this, come on back to sophie-world.com. Well, that was pretty neat. Yeah, I like your music too. All right, well, I'm going to upload this to YouTube and hopefully the video will show. Um, fingers crossed, I've never tried that before. It's another YouTube video, so I don't know if I'm going to run into problems. But anyway, if not, you'll have my version of my kite that I made and then you guys can do it too at home. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Have fun crafting.